Hello my friends. I am feeling extra lazy today but because I just finished filming like uh, the intro for one of my Chinese vlogs so because I did not zip <laughs> I did not zip the back of the dress so it's like an optional look. Actually it's like really pretty. Um but yeah I need to just like hold it in the front because if not it's just gonna like fall off. But yeah, so I thought that maybe since I'm here already, um, I should show you guys the books that I got from Book Depository. So I got four of them, um, and I'll start from the small first. Um, so I got this book called Victorian Fashion. Uh, it's very um, brief. I have had more um, books that are a little bit more detailed. This one is really, really like simple. It goes, it's like women's, men's, children's, and then like wedding, and I think. Yeah, and then I think the sports as well. So this, I think I like it for the photos. Um, I wouldn't say it's a very detailed book, but I think if you've just started Victorian, um, I think that's something that maybe you would want to look at because it's really small. You can bring it anywhere and like just read on a train or something or like whatever. Um, the next one I've got is like Victorian Edwardian fashion, a photographic survey. This is really cool. They're all photos, obviously. Um, but they're also they also have a lot of okay i buy these for like photos because of like inspiration and stuff like that and there are a lot of really nice photos there's also a photo of sissy in here um elizabeth queen empress elizabeth of austria with her dog um i don't know if i can find it um there's also a photo of like um a strex um for strex my dog's a king charles cavalier and there's a photo of a king charles cavalier and his owner but yeah, it's not bad. Uh, I haven't actually started reading this, but this is a lot on fashion as well. It's like the rise and fall of the crinoline, curves and vertical. So it talks about like the gothic silhouette, the natural silhouette, whatever. So I think it's all right as well. Although I do think that this book is slightly more complicated than the previous one. And the next one is Edwardian Fashion, short, a, sh a snapshot in time from Harper's Bazaar 1906. And I think it's a collection of like Harper's Bazaar articles as well as like fashion plates. Um, so it is, they basically reproduced whatever I guess was in Harper's Bazaar, so it's like in this magazine format. It's very pretty, although I don't think it is a simple read because like obviously they wrote a slightly different way um, in the past and I think that it kind of shows. But I think it's very pretty, I like the language and I think, you know, if you... And also, I mean, I love Edwardian, so... And I also chose today to, of all days, to not like wear Edwardian clothing. Um, but yeah, because I... As I said, I was filming video. And finally, the video, the video, the book that I was most excited for, and I, and I think it's probably the most worthwhile hundred <laughs> bucks I've ever spent, is this book. Um, I think if you do like costuming or historical fashion in any sense of form, you probably have heard of this book and maybe already have this book. I highly recommend it because it is so beautiful. Um, there is no way that I can like properly show this because it is huge. But basically, it's all of the work gowns. Okay, I'm gonna stand up so that you can see. So they have the the winter halter painting. Um, that's the dress that the very famous dress that she wore. And also, I think this is the coronation dress. Or is it a wedding dress? No, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's the coronation dress. I read this. I read like this portion yesterday, and I've already forgotten. But I love this dress so much that I will probably recreate it at some point. Um, some point being like maybe next year. <laughs> Um, I know it's a big uh, undertaking. Um, I'm mostly gonna just do the bodice probably and then like the, the bottom part, not the bottom part, the skirt. I'm probably just going to do a walking skirt or something a little bit more um, that doesn't require a crinoline because I do not have the time, space, anything to, um, mostly the space actually to build a crinoline in my room. Um, and I say build because that is a architectural undertaking. Um, but yeah, I love this page yeah I could just if I had like a book stand where I'm putting this book on and you know like in those uh, medieval times where you would put the Bible on it would just be flipped open to this page and I know they should I mean worth has made so many beautiful gowns but because of my like love for Sissy and stuff like that this gown means so much for me and also I think Winter Halter is a really amazing painter um, I just I only like the first book I've ever seen of him was this painting and I was like this is absolutely beautiful and he's done a lot of more um a lot more paintings um like obviously more royalty and stuff like that but yeah you should check Winter Halter out I like how I'm promoting him like a YouTuber yeah, you can go check out his Bob Ross paintings or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, 
I'm feeling really lazy today. I don't know how much I'll get done. And also because I have dance later, so I'm not really sure what I'm else, but I'm gonna try and take some footage of whatever I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna like hang around for a little bit and we'll see what happens, but yeah, I'm really hoping to finish the dress by Wednesday and I also like, really need to edit, but yeah. So I just realized that not only did I forget to film my progress so far, I actually kind of forgot to film like what I'm actually making, which is this. Um, yeah, it's a butter egg B6. I think it's pretty simple, or knock on wood, it's been pretty simple so far. It's, it kind of looks like this. Yeah, so it's really only like, I guess, three or four separate pieces. Um, so this is the bodice. Um, I'm, I did some lace thing. I thought I was going to do like um, insertion lace, but honestly like the fabric is so thin that I feel like it honestly doesn't matter what I do insert lace or not, lace insertion or not. Um, yeah, this is like the instructions. They are pretty straightforward. I have nothing to complain about except for the fact that I don't know what I'm going to do for this part because I'm going to use this. I think I'll just like fold the sides. I might have to recut it. Oh no. Um, actually, I might have to get like thread that actually matches <laughs> and this is the bag um probably might do insertion lace probably won't because like i kind of want to finish this dress by wednesday so we'll see yeah hello so basically what i decided to do instead of having like for these things these little strappy things so i decided to sew like um lace to the sides um the only reason is because i'm too lazy to go buy matching thread um i might do it for the hem like buy matching thread and I, I ran out of ribbon just as i was going to just okay so the back and the front are sort of sewn together at the shoulder seam but there is a problem is that this is actually there were supposed to be two but the one it's actually too short so now I only have one because I decided to seam them together. So and I also ran out of this lace. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna just going to go to the shops for a while and then get it. Because I really just can't. Ugh. Yeah. So I ended up running out, so and this basically has to attach to this, like that. Um and then there'll be one on the other side. So yeah. And yeah. Okay, um, this is the top. It looks alright. Um, I just have to put the sleeves in and then do the back. I think I might actually put a zip rather than hook and eyes. I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, I need to do something with the back, but yeah, looks alright for now. Okay, I actually think it's like pretty much done. Um, I ended up just kind of sewing the back together um i wasn't gonna bother to put like hooks and bars or anything um i might actually just add one more piece of ribbon here because if you can see sorry it's not very like some parts of it are like tucked in and some parts of it are not and i feel that it's slightly too high waisted my waist is like here so i think maybe i'll add like one of those sorry my room's a mess but maybe a ribbon like here yeah, so We'll see. Hello, I am done with the dress. So I really like the lace at the bottom. Um, I would say that because it's not my natural waist, it doesn't look um like as starting like if I did this, yeah. But anyway, it's all right. Um, <laughs> and also my room's a mess because that always happens at towards the end of my projects. Um, but yeah, there is a ribbon at the back to kind of give it shape. Yeah. It's alright. I actually really like it. I know I don't sound too pleased, but um, it's like 1am and I'm also hungry and bloated, so yeah. I'll put more photos tomorrow um, and videos because I'm going out to see my friend, but yeah. Hello! Um, okay, so I've decided to start on like making sleeve plumpers and this is actually for 1830s but my dress, like blouses are a little bit more like late, like towards the end of the Victorian era. Just roughly traced a pattern and I hope it works. Um, we'll see. 
So basically I've stuffed it with this polymer wadding. I think it's, they use it for a quilt. Um, and you know, I've attached the waist elastic band to the sides. So I just kind of slip my arm into it. So what I do is that you basically stuff it into the puffy side of the sleeve. So it's, it's over here. And then you slip your arm into it. So it's pretty easy. Uh, I just have to sew up the opening part now and then I'll do the other one so here is the finished look um, with the sleeve bumpers in they so I put one hand in and it's a little bit difficult for the other side because I have to kind of like wrangle my hand into the armhole without kind of knocking the um, and then knocking the um, sleeve plumper like down um, and because the like the arm, like the forearm per portion of the blouse is so tight that um, I really have to kind of like push into it. But it's okay. It looks alright. Probably insert some photos um, when I wear it like out with like proper, a proper skirt and stuff. But yeah, I think it looks alright. I look like a hook, like a chicken wing or a linebacker. And these are uh, products. They look like... Pillows? Yeah. Hello, I just got back from fabric shopping. Um, I also look a little bit terrible because it is now um, like 10 minutes suppose, before I upload this vlog and I just thought that I'd show you what I bought which is because it's not a lot. And also if you hear any pitter pattering of feet in the background and also yeah, it's Strax. Yes, I got new stuff. You want to see Strax is like smelling. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the first thing I got is, um, so basically I just went to this, um, fabric shop called Princess, um, yeah, Princess Fabrics is 96 Arab Street, um, sorry, my, like, my room's a mess, um, so the first thing I got was 8 meters of cotton poplin, and it's, like, cream colour, basically I'm making a cream and blue stripe, like, sea inspired dress, seaside inspired dress, sorry, I'm really tired, so, like, my vocabulary is, Steadily leaving my um, conscious thought in the stream. And also, um, this pink um, chanting, um, chantel, um, which I will make for my aerial dress. Um, that's 80 meters. And then 2 meters of blue satin for the um, seaside dress. And finally, this is to make pants. Um, I will explain in the next video. But yeah, it's just 2 meters of like. I forgot what it's called, but it's, it's nice. It's nice. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video a lot. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next one, hopefully soon, like in the next two weeks or so. Um, and yeah, goodbye. Please subscribe. <laughs> oh, look at that paw.